Right, so welcome back. We're on a proper urbex again, folks. So... We're acting on a tip-off that uh, somewhere down here there is an old shack. I don't know if you can hear me okay, hopefully you can. So So this is a Virgin Explore folks. Uh, if we do get lost I do have my internet with me but uh, yeah something down here which uh, we've been wanting to have a look at for a while so we are out in the middle of a Cornish countryside as normal and uh, looks like the old lane is here so hopefully we will find what we're looking for. Oh shit, looking for. And I found it straight away. There it is over there. And the mud too. So we're always looking at uh, for new locations to explore, folks. And this one, wait, it's there, look. Bloody hell, that's bloody bog, I'll tell you something. It's a fucking quagmire. Oh shit. God, it's true. So my Google Maps pinpointer has paid off. Look, there it is. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. It's an old barn, folks. Really old as well by the looks of it. Oh, God, this is bog there. Look at that. Probably not going to get to it, he says. I don't know, might be able to. Can we get around that way? Yeah, I think we can. We need to backtrack, folks. <coughs> so yeah, we're always looking for no locations. Uh, at times it is extremely difficult to come across these locations. So I'm hoping we can get in through this way. Can we? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I don't think anyone's been down here for a long time. Well, there is uh, some footprints there. Oh, it's a bit boggy. All right, let's turn the lights up. There we go. How about that? So, yeah, it does look very old and it's very, very, Boggy. Look at that. It's magic, isn't it? Well, there is some footprints there. Oh shit. No brain. Wow. Bloody hell, folks. Well, I didn't think we'd be getting in here today. I really didn't. So, this is obviously was used for animals. Another good spot to potentially do paranormal. So these beams look, there was a bit of a rot there, a bit of a rotten floor there folks. These beams look like uh, they're all original. So just following the, the footprints that are already here. So obviously someone's been here in the not too distant past by the looks of it. Glad I got me wellies on. Wellies with this sort of thing are, whoa, absolutely essential. We probably won't be getting upstairs by the looks of it. I don't think we're getting upstairs, do you folks? Hey. Okay. 
nice bit of urbex before end of the year. So it looks like there was a there is a doorway there, but I can't see any way up to it. So that's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Nice bit of urbex to end the year. Oh shit. So I think we'll come back with a crew and do a paranormal there because we need to use one car though for that one because it's it's in the middle of nowhere basically. As you can see we Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. We'll keep filming until we get up to the gate. Yeah, we wanted to get a bit of urbex done before end of the year, folks. So that was a nice little bit, that. Nice bit of urbex. So we're going to do a paranormal investigation there. It does look very old, doesn't it? So we will have to consult with the crew on that one. And I think it's going to rain. Shit. <laughs> Bloody typical. Hope you all had a good Christmas. We certainly did. Absolutely awesome Christmas, folks. Right. So there is a farm close by here. And I think they own this. So... Wee. Wee. It is bloody boggy, I tell you that much. Right. Anyway, I've got to go, folks. It's raining. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you... See you later in the week with some more new locations from Kerno EXP at a new location. I bid you farewell. Cheers and gone, folks. <laughs>